So I figured out recently that the word put and the word pop often mean the same thing. Like, let me just put this down here, or let me just pop this down here. But what I've also realized is that put is for more serious things, and pop is for things that are more casual. <laughs> Look, I've never heard anyone say, okay, I just need you to pop the gun down. <laughs> I used to work in an office and a lot of people that put a picture of their children on their desk but I didn't do that I put a picture of me when I was a kid and then when people walked past and said hey cute kid I took it as a personal compliment <laughs> So like, yeah, you're right, he does look just like me. <laughs> so my name's Richard. Richard was a popular name when I was a kid, but then as I grew up, trends changed and it became old-fashioned. Which made me think that it would be a better idea for parents to give children old-fashioned names, because then by the time they grow up, trends might have changed and their name might be okay again. We'll try explaining that to my kids. Genghis and Adolf. <laughs> Such fussy girls. <laughs> so I'm from New Zealand. My family are in New Zealand. I guess I'm what you call the black sheep of my family. But the rest of my family are flamboyant. But I'm just buoyant. <laughs> got a really nice mum. Like when I was a kid, my mum would always say such nice things about me. Like how she would tell everybody that I had an infectious smile, which was such a nice way of describing cold sores. <laughs> I've got a brother. I'll tell you a bit about him. He weighs 25 stone. He's attracted to both men and women. And that's about it, really. By <laughs> large. At this point of the show, I'd like to introduce you all to my flute, Steve. From our high Steve. It's not his real name, his real name is actually. So everyone always pronounces that wrong, so he shortens it to Steve. <laughs> so it's very useful to have a flute with you. I find it particularly useful if you're in a situation where you need to disguise a fart. So I'm going to end my set tonight on an attempted duet between the flute and the recorder called Mary Has Two Little Lambs.
Thanks, baby.